Meet Eitana Lopez, a 25-year-old who is being labelled Spain's hottest model. She's been busy putting all the other e-girls to shame with her work ethic alone, landing lucrative brand deals with Victoria's Secret, Brandy Melville and Guess. Ready for the weekend in my leather goddess outfit? What word do you think best defines my personality or style? Fake. The word is fake. She recently flew to Madrid. How do you get to Madrid if you don't exist? But Aitana isn't just a fashion model. On FanView, a creator platform, devotees can pay for private content and exchange messages with her. <sighs> Fucking simps again. There's now an entire burgeoning get-rich-quick cottage industry of instructional videos on how you too can cash in on the simps by creating your own Itana Lopez. This video, I'm gonna show you how you guys can make your own A influencer for free in few easy steps. And is it any wonder? Look at the potential jackpot on offer. $10,000 a month, virtually zero overheads. You can put her to work 24-7. No holidays, no complaints, no demands for a higher slice of the pie. No getting cancelled for making comments that deviate from the message. And she's not going to have an existential crisis meltdown brought on by the deep-seated daddy issues that made her do all this in the first place. Tana is really just living her best life. <laughs> The company created her mainly because of all the problems they were having with real women. Jobs cancelled, projects delayed, all caused by the fault of the influencer or model and not due to design issues. So it was bye bye bitches and welcome it on her. Ted Kaczynski warned that technological enslavement entailed the development of intelligent machines that can do everything better than humans. But not even old Theodore envisaged it would go this far. Is the world's oldest profession really clearing its throat for the final death rasp? AI creators on OnlyFans style platforms are now bringing in 15% of the revenue, increasing by 100% month on month. We did it so that we could make a better living and not be dependent on other people who have egos, who have manias, or who just want to make a lot of money by posing. Sounds like a passage from the the ultimate incel manifesto. Is this what we're witnessing? The perma virgin's final revenge? The eventual replacement of females altogether? Elliot Rogers' misogynistic terror made palpable by the wonders of artificial intelligence? Alright, maybe that's going a bit too far. But look at how far the technology's progressed. From this in 2016 to this just seven years later. How realistic will they be in another seven years? Still images are basically perfected. How long before video content is indistinguishable from the real thing? Videos are not the same level of fidelity to reality, but they are improving constantly. It's a matter of time before you will not be able to tell the difference. How long before they walk amongst us? AI e-girls are now so all-powerful, they're even conquering diversity and inclusion mandates. Levi's doesn't have to hire women of colour when they can just generate them from scratch. If top brands sponsored this, they'd be cancelled in a heartbeat for fueling harmful female body stereotypes. Remember Beach Body Girl? But Aitana's not real. So it's okay. Let's talk about something cool today. Have you ever wanted a personal night sky in your room? Let's dive into the galaxy projector and see what it's all about. If you've been thinking of adding a little something special to your space, then this is exactly the kind of lighting you need. It will transform any room into a planetarium and give it a truly unique look and feel. But not only that, it's also a smart device. Let's look at some of the features. First off, it's RGB colours, brightness, rotation speed, on-off timers, and many more are fully customizable. Grab your phone with its app. You can change everything, make it true. Truly yours. Love using Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant? Well, the Galaxy Projector is on your team. Just say the word and it obeys from switching on to changing modes. Complete hands-free magic. Guess what? It's energy efficient too. Enjoy your personal galaxy without worrying about your electricity bill skyrocketing. For those who appreciate good tech, this is for you. The Galaxy Projector is a modern gadget with timeless appeal. Get your projector by clicking the link below. It's a fantastic Christmas gift that's sure to delight. And use discount code PJW to get 15% off. And as for personal interactions, incels don't seem to be bothered by the fact that they could actually be paying good money to chat to a middle-aged man pretending to be a pink-haired Spanish 25-year-old woman. I would marry her! Sam! 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 Although thinking about it, why not? Even though these women are literally a bunch of computer code created by men and can never reproduce, keeping simps trapped in a misery cycle of faux companionship, which only serves to fuel their inceldom and delay or detonate altogether their chances of ever meeting a real woman and starting a family, is that really much different from a lot of real women anyway? Because more and more, especially in white western countries, 
they're giving birth to the exact same number of children as Aitana Lopez. A big fat zero. And they're proud of it. We're dinks. We're gonna get asked daily when we plan on having kids. Mainly by our own mother who's desperate for grandkids. We're dinks. We don't have to ask our family for financial help or to watch our kid when we want to go out. Just like there'll be no one to watch you when you're all miserable and childless. We're dinks. We have disposable income to spend on whatever we would like and don't have to spend on a kid. Wine and Netflix again then. We're dinks. We're gonna get asked at every single family event what we're doing with our life. Making massive cope TikTok videos about the joys of being childless, presumably. Which every time I watch these clips is almost solely focused around the ability to consume more junk food and entertainment. We're dinks. We're gonna go to Costco and buy all the snacks in bulk that we want. Half of the child-free content you see online is them throwing tantrums over people suggesting it's a selfish lifestyle. And the other half is them listing selfish reasons why they chose that lifestyle. A new survey reveals that only 55% of Gen Z and Millennials plan to have children. One in four aged between 18 and 34 have ruled out parenthood completely because they want more time for themselves. More time for what? More time to wallow in the tepid realisation that you're literally a walking genetic dead end. We're dinks. More time to embroil yourself in the vacuous, unfulfilling black hole of extended adolescence. We're dinks. While posting TikTok cope videos emphasising how you're so much happier this way. We're dinks. While that creeping feeling of disassociated atomization and barren loneliness Loneliness eats away inside you. More time to play GTA 6. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Yeah, I'm sure that'll comfort you when you're barreling towards old age. Your friends dropping off and dying one by one. No one to visit or look after you, shunted into a care home where nobody actually cares about your existence. But don't worry, I'm sure the middle-aged minimum wage dude who's on Itana Lopez chatbot duty that evening will keep you company. <laughs> If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news. <laughs>